please join me in praying for the sick and homebound. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercies as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. The entrance antiphon. Our Savior, because the Lord has looked on his lowly handmaid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Good to be back. Uh, God is good. God is good. In every moment in our life, sometimes when we are challenged, it's good to remember also what we'll have in today's gospel, that the Lord always listens and He's very close to us and He's really good to us. Uh, during this Holy Eucharist, we pray for, this is El Elaine Bailing. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant the Lord God that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, May we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey. For they have set out for the sake of the name and are accepting nothing for the, from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons so that we may be co-workers in the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. 
His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious in lands, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God has called us through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see it to that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we have one of those Gospels uh, that is good to uh, remember about or even uh, to memorize, like, you know, to know by heart. Uh, Jesus is telling his disciples that um, Even they will might face very difficult situations without even the solution. They cannot lose heart. They have to pray without uh, ceasing, you know, asking and believing uh, that the Lord will listen to this prayer and the prayer will be fulfilled. No, he's giving this an example with a judge. Of course, it is not the image of God uh, because the judge that we hear in today's gospel reading is about the guy who is totally unrespectful to anyone. Yeah, but uh, Jesus is giving this example showing that even if those people who totally uh, do not respect others, who inside maybe are really bad people, are able to change their minds, so how more God who loves us so much will listen to us. So uh, it's good to remember about uh, how good really God is. It is what I said at the beginning. Uh, he always listens and he's... Uh, his heart is always open for our needs. <clears throat> uh, once I said about the priest, um, his name is Father Don Dolindo. He was an Italian priest from Neapol, and he died in 1970. Um, and he had a very extraordinary relationship with Jesus. Uh, 
you know, Jesus was appearing to him and he was sharing uh, with this priest the things that we are forgetting as Christians. And once Jesus told through him to the people <clears throat> those words, why are you upset and agitated? Leave your curse to me and all will be fine. I tell you honestly, every act of true and blind reliance on me results in what you desire and will resolve all your difficulties. Abandonment, abandon, abandonment in me does not mean being frustrated, becoming anxious or desperate, offering me your anxious prayer that I may follow you and have your anxiety be a prayer. Abandonment means to shut the eyes of your soul in peace moving your thoughts away from your troubles, and instead of thinking about your worries and pain, let me take over your troubles. Simply say, Jesus, you take over. To be worried, restless, and to think of the consequences of an event is the op opposite of reliance. It is really contrary to it. It is like a child who wants his mom to take care of his needs, but in the way he wants. And with his whims and childish ideas, he hampers her work. Shut your eyes and go with the flow of my grace. Do not ponder over your present moment and put away thoughts of your future as a temptation. Rest in me, believe in my goodness, and I swear on my love that if you think like this, Jesus, you take over, I indeed will do it for you. I will comfort you, free you, and guide you. Amen. <clears throat> Confident that our Heavenly Father will hear our prayers, we present our needs to Him. For the Church, may God's grace empower us all as faithful co-workers in spreading His truth and love throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> For judges and legislators, May God instill in them true justice toward and respect for the needs of the powerless. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are discouraged or have lost hope, may God bring them consolation through his saving word. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the Lord make us never weary in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may God's infinite mercy bring them safely to the end of their journey in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to this pandemic and for all infected by COVID-19, that God will ease their suffering and return them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Christian brothers and sisters who are being persecuted all over the world and for the suffering souls in purgatory let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any special prayers or petitions in our prayer book, or any special prayers or petitions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for the gift of prayer itself and for hearing our petitions this day. We ask that you answer them according to your will through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God for forever. Forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you alone. We sacrifice in your sight this day. We present to you, Lord God. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord <coughs> accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in the veneration of the blessed of the Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light Jesus Christ our Lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in the humble praise as we acclaim holy 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 Lord God of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to our virtual church. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the Father and blood of Christ grace you eternal life. Communion Antiphon. Mary treasured all these words, reflecting on them in her heart. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worldly the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and hope in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Stay mindfully, Archangel. Defend, Defend us in battle. Be, be our, our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the, the devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power, the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. A novena prayer to Our Lady of Chesterhova. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us now, now recite the novena prayer. Remember, O most, most gracious Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, that never, never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, help or, sought or sought your intercession, was, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Our Lady and our Mother, trusting in your maternal goodness and powerful intercession with your Son, we place before you our humble prayers and petitions. To you we commend all our needs and the needs of our families and our parish. For our negligence in the faith and for the religious indifference through which we have strayed so often from God, unmindful of his presence and love, we ask, we ask you, Mother, Mother intercede, intercede for us. For our conduct, which has not always been in accord with our holy faith, nor with the dignity of a child of God, for sins against life, for drunkenness, selfishness, carelessness, envy, social discord, and lacks of morals. We, we ask, ask you, Mother, Mother intercede, intercede for us. For being so preoccupied with ourselves that we did not see the needs of our brothers and sisters, the hungry, the homeless, the sick, and the lonely. We, we ask, ask you, Mother, Mother intercede, intercede for us. us. An act of Mother, Mother of God, of God Immaculate, Immaculate Mary, to you we consecrate our body and soul, all our prayers, works, joys, and sufferings, all that we are possess. With eager heart, we dedicate ourselves to you in slavery of love. We give you complete freedom in making use of us for the salvation of all and the assistance of the Holy Church, of which you are the mother. From now on, we wish to do everything with you through you and for you. We know that by our own strength, we shall accomplish nothing. You, however, can do everything. That is the will of your Son, and you are always victorious. Grant then help of Christians that our families, parish, and country may truly be the kingdom of your Son and yours. Amen. It is to you, O Holy Mother of God, that we go for refuge and protection. Look kindly on us as we cry to you in our need. Glorious and blessed Virgin, be with us always and rescue us from every kind of danger. Amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, holy Queen and throne above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy, of love, O Maria, triumphal nature of him, sing with us, ye seraphim, heaven and earth resound my end, salve, salve, salve. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. God bless you all.